What's up? Welcome back. My name is Nate. If you're new here, um, welcome. If you're coming back, uh, welcome back. <laughs> um, so I like, this is something that I did. Uh, when did I do this? It's 2021 right now. I think it was 2018. So I was, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I was like 19 or 20. Um, but when I was 19 or 20, I went to a modeling audition and it was kind of like, it was such an experience. So I just, I just want to talk about it real quick. Um, so I was, like I said, I was 19 or 20 and I was living in Tampa at the time. And I remember just like, like applying to modeling like agencies, you know, just like going to the website and just being like, apply. And I did that to a couple. And then a couple days later, <laughs> I got a phone call and it was one of the agencies and they wanted me to come in for an audition and i was like on the phone i was like you know like i don't really know i don't really have the time and um the lady on the phone really made me feel bad she like gaslighted me into going to that audition because she was like well you know you have the option but if you don't go we lose 300 dollars because we've already booked the photographer and all this other stuff making me feel bad so I went, I went to the audition. It was a couple days later. And so I went and I remember being one terrified because I had never, I've auditioned before, but I've never auditioned for a modeling, you know, audition. And I knew that I had to walk the catwalk <laughs> and I was just like, let's just do it. Like, let's just get this over with. Let's do it. So I get there and I'm expecting, um, a lot of people that were my age because I thought it was like a group like that they were looking for, you know, like a specific like age group and like sex and like look. Um, but I get there and there was people auditioning from like the age of like seven to like 60. So instantly I felt pretty comfortable. Well, not pretty comfortable. I felt a little bit more comfortable knowing that like, okay, this is not serious. You know what I mean? Uh, so we get there and, um, oh, this was also John Casablanca's. Um, modeling agency and we get there and they line us up and then they shuffle us into a room uh, to to get headshots done <laughs> and okay I wish I I wish I kept the headshots they offered them to us for like ten dollars but I was literally so broke that I couldn't even afford ten dollars to get these headshots um, but they they turned out pretty well I was like okay these are really nice um, but after that they had us do a little like lip reading um, like on camera, like I think it was about Coke, the company, like Coca-Cola, not the drug. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh, but anyway, so they had us do that. And then after that, they brought us all into a room where the catwalk was and they lined us up. And the main lady, like the main modeling lady was like, okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to have you go. And then we're going to have the next person go and just, you know, do this. And she was like, um, I'm gonna give you an example of like how to walk. Let me show you how she walked. So like she did that <laughs> and literally all of us that were like there auditioning were like, do you want us to do that? <laughs> like mama was nearly doing flips down the runway. And we were all just like, whoa, <laughs> like we're not here for that. <laughs> Um, but she was like, you can just do whatever. So I remember being terrified because it wasn't just the people auditioning. It was probably like 25 of us maybe, but it was also their families that were there, like their parents, if they came with them, because some of them are kids. So there was like probably 40 people in this room watching one person run the catwalk. And it ended up when it when it became my turn i remember being so scared but there was this girl that was next to me who was like probably 15 and i remember telling her like don't worry about it you know just get up there and do it and then i got up there and i was like oh my god no i'm like preaching all this stuff to this girl and then i was like you know what nate you just gotta do it just get out there and like work it and let me show you what i did on the i didn't do anything crazy but let me show you <laughs> yeah so like I didn't do anything crazy you know I just got up there I walked did my thing and then I got down and I was like whoo 
done. That is done. Um, so after all of that, after everyone went, they broke us up into groups. Um, and then I think, I think they, they brought like each group to a different room or I think they had us hold out until like each group was ready to go. But anyway, so when I was with my group, when we got to the conference room where they're like, okay, you know, here's the information. We want you to model for us, you know, come back tomorrow. So they were doing all that and they were asking us if we had support and they were like, do your parents support you with this? And I was like, well, I mean, they don't know I'm here right now. And they were like, oof, but like, do they support you? Like, are they going to give you the support? And I was like, yeah, 100%. I just don't, this is just something that I wanted to do. Like, I don't, I'm, I don't need their support. You know, I'm old enough. <laughs> and they were like, you just like, yeah, you just really need your family's support. And I was like, yeah, okay, they support me. Can we just move on? Like, let's just get past this, bro. And so anyway, so they gave me the information and they were like, we want you to model for us and we want you to do this and that. And we want you to come back tomorrow at this time. And so I went home and I was like, okay, I mean, they see me, they want me. And I went home and did some more research and learned that um, John Casablanca is, obviously is a modeling agency, but they require you to take modeling classes, um, which I don't think is just this company. I think it's pretty, pretty common throughout the modeling world to do that. Um, but they wanted me to pay like two and a half, three grand for these classes. And I was like, I was very straight up transparent. I was like, look, I can't afford that. Um, I didn't know that this is what that was. And the lady was like, we have payment plans. <laughs> and I was like, mama, no, like I'm telling you, I can't afford it. Like, thank you for the opportunity. This was really cool, but I just can't afford it. And um, they gave me the information and all that stuff. And like, it was pretty cool. It was an interesting experience. Um, I just wish that like, it didn't cost as much. I definitely understand and I respect the fact that they want you to go through training because that makes a lot of sense. But what if I like fronted that money and then didn't get any gigs after? Or like, what if it didn't work out? So I was just like, no, I'd rather not. Um, I'd rather this be something that doesn't cost me anything <laughs> to do, but I'm just kind of choked a little bit. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so that was like, uh, that was my experience. Um, I am all for if you see something that you're like, you know, I don't know, that might be kind of cool. Do it. If you see an audition, that's like something that you've always dreamt about doing or something that is so far out there, be random and be spontaneous and like sign up for that because you genuinely don't know the experience that you're going to have. It could be a good one. It could be a bad one. Um, and you also don't know the the connections that you can build while you're out doing this thing that you didn't expect yourself to do so like i'm i'm so literally like you will catch me doing any like if you see me doing something like going to a modeling audition it's so random it's like so me like i'm so random like that i'm just a crazy girl <laughs> but yeah that's um that's my story yeah and like i don't know if you guys have like any similar stories or if you have any modeling agencies that you would um like recommend send them my way <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I love you guys. I hope you have a uh, fantastic day. For me, it's daytime. So I hope you have a fantastic day, a beautiful morning, an amazing evening. And I will see y'all later. Goodbye. I have like this much room to work with. <laughs>